Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Lomachenko versus Rigondeaux is Basic Cable's second most watched boxing programming. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations, the Venmo donations, and also the Patreon family. We working. Now, I want to give you guys this update. I haven't made um, the time to make the video, but I'm making it now. Vasily Lomachenko versus Guillermo El Chacao Rigondeaux. It brought in over 2 million views, over 2.1 million views on EH ESPN. And it became the second highest in terms of um, highest watched boxing programming on non-premium TV. So no HBO, no Showtime, something you have to pay usually substantially extra $9 a month, $10, $20, whatever it is for your cable. So that fight, it surpassed Crawford versus Ndongo. I don't know the exact numbers. I didn't do the research, but um, the only fight to beat that was Manny Pacquiao versus Jeff Horn, which did almost 4 million viewers. And that's Pacquiao. And that's the first time Pacquiao's fought non-pay-per-view in quite some time. So, I mean, you would expect large numbers from Pacquiao being that he's fighting on ESPN. Because even though he's fighting little-known Jeff Horn, once again, you don't have the opportunity to watch Pacquiao in his recent career unless it was a pay-per-view. Like all of his fights, Floyd, his Bradley fight, I mean, all of them were pay-per-view for the most part that I can think of. Even the um, Jesse Vargas was a top-ranked pay-per-view. So, very good numbers from Vasily Lomachenko. Um, the fight, I, I think I think Lomachenko did his thing, but it didn't deliver. Like, based on two two-time Olympic gold medalists fighting, I expected to see more of a competitive fight, but shout-out to Lomachenko. He had the right strategy he had the right size and he implemented the right game plan so this really helps him espn was really pushing him on the telecast and now when it comes out over two million people got to see that tour de force type of performance from lomachenko so that definitely helps his star power don't think he's a pay-per-view star but um you want to put performances and viewerships like this in the bank and the one thing i want to draw a comparison to is because this was on pretty much was on uh, free TV and whatnot. And um, some people were always mad at the PBC numbers. Like when Thurman, when Thurman did um, the Porter fight, and that did, I think, like four or five million. And people said those numbers were low. So it's just it's funny to hear that comparison. But me, I'm a realistic fan. It's good. ESPN is um, a network people know and revere for sports. So I'm just all for it. Just boxing back on free TV and then some of it on pay-per-view, some of it on the premium network, Showtime and HBO. You know what I mean? It doesn't get any better than this. I, I really like it. And I think um, top rank, in my opinion, over PBC and over um, Golden Boy, listen to what I'm going to say, I think they put the best fights on ESPN. Like if you look at the fights that top rank has put on ESPN with their deal, I think it's better than the fights that PBC put on that particular network because PBC put on um I think their contract ran out but last year or the, a couple years ago or whatever it was um they put on fights like Keith Thurman versus Colazzo I think Danny Garcia versus Pauli Malinaji was on there Golden Boy they put they're putting on like um Jason Quigley Glenn Tapia Gabe Rosado Glenn Tapia or lesser known people you know what I mean? like Keandre Gibson versus Barrera or something but as far as top rank, since they started their ESPN deal, they they brought it out full force. Terrence Crawford, Julius Ndongo, an undisputed, meaningful fight. Pacquiao, who's you know I mean a legend in the game, him fighting Jeff Horn, and then having a controversial ending, and then Lomachenko versus Rigondeaux, which was two two-time Olympic gold medalists, and it was supposed to be a high-speed, skillful uh, chess match. You know what I mean? So definitely top rank doing their thing with the ESPN programming. And like I said, I just like it. More eyes on the sport, the better it is for me because this is my job. Better it is for me because I'm a fan. And the better it is for boxing fans. 
the more the merrier. Let me know what you guys think of these numbers. Shout out to Lomachenko on this victory. And shout out to just top ranking ESPN getting these good numbers back. And hopefully they keep doing it. Like, I mean, imagine if they were to able somehow, let's say Mikey Garcia beat Sergey Lipinitz, and then they put Mikey Garcia and Lomachenko in the same ring on ESPN. That would be huge. Let me know your thoughts. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.